after like five minutes. You remember our venerable house? Just have to put it in the right spot. Imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. All right, so like right now, it's fine. Uh, open broadcast software updates. Open broadcast software updates automatically, I think. Like, it downloads new updates all the time on its own. Alright, so we'll run it I for right now. Long absent in the sunken faces of all right, where do we want to go? A glimmer well, they're all locked, I think, except this, whatever this is. Alright, I guess we're going there, right? Okay. Provision. The cost of preparedness. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get the idea. Gold. Later. Alright, we definitely blood. need some food. Food's pretty cheap, so let's get plenty of that. Alright. Shovel, anti venom, bandages. I don't know what good this does, but I'll take one. Take a couple of everything. Oh yeah, we need plenty of torches. Okay, let's go. Better to have too much than not enough. Alright, let's pray that the game footage doesn't crap out for no reason, the way it was doing earlier. Alright, yep, we can right-click on the hero panel, yep. I got the idea. Alright, so here's our dungeon map. As I understand it, the dungeons are randomly generated. Start heading to that next room. Yeah, okay. I clicked there. I thought I clicked there. Anyway. Why is he stressed out about? Whatever. Alright, we'll take the torch. And we'll light it when it starts the light gets a little low. Alright. So W to go in. Oh, hey, we got guys to fight. Alright, so... Skeletons. Speed 1, zero dodge. Very resistant to stunning, but they don't bleed, because they're skeletons. Alright. Let's see, I can use this, which is a damage buff and a speed buff for future rounds, but probably not going to last that long. This doesn't do much damage either, although it is very accurate. Has a 100% base chance of light, though, whatever that is. That's a debuff, I'm assuming. Yeah. Alright. The lower the torchlight level, the better loot you get in the game is harder. Interesting. That's kind of counterintuitive. Alright, let's see. Open vein. Damage modifier, bleed chance. This would hit both of them at lowered, ac lowered damage. Uh, let's not go for that, let's just try to kill this guy. Which we did. As the enemy crumbles. All right. Can't use hand of can't use this holy attack because she's not in position to use it. This doesn't do very much damage, but the other two are heals and we're at full health, so. Okay. Nice. Uh, so let's see. You can hover over the light level to see the info. Oh, okay. Plus stress, plus scouting monsters, surprised. Lower torchlight, more darkness, more powerful enemies. Hmm. Anyway, um, so yeah, this guy's still in the front row, so I can just hit him. Oh, whoops, I wasn't even trying to stun him. <laughs> I thought I was picking the thing that would kill him. Oh, well. That's the only thing that can hit him from back there. So what does this do? Oh, she has a chance to miss, right? Low damage. Torchlight plus five. Their formation is broken. All right, that was pretty easy, as you might guess, especially because they were. All right, we'll unlock it. Crest, cool. All right, good stuff. Scout, explore ninety percent. Well, of course we're gonna explore all the rooms. Wait, how did I just get a scout? 
I don't understand that. Shift click to reduce torch. Shift click click to snuff out torch. You get random minor stretches when the torch light drops. You want to keep it above 75%? Okay. When we finish last ship at FTL, well, we'll probably keep playing FTL. I mean, I enjoy the game. Uh, let me put it on this guy. What do we want to do? 75? Well, let's just keep the... How big is this dungeon? Doesn't look that big. We found a torch, so let's just... Light the torch. How do I do that? Oh, right click. Okay. Just keep the torch light up. Even the cold stone seems we took bent damage from that. Passage. Wait, did I not use a shovel? I thought I did use a shovel. Maybe I didn't use it. Oh, hey. So the light is a little lower. Alright, so what do we have? Two more of these soldiers. And a cultist. Probably a little stronger. Alright, so what do we want? Let's see. How strong, how much damage do these guys do? 4 to 8. Alright, so this guy's fewer HP but does more damage. Let's try to kill the guy in the front row first. This is another one of those games where, because when you kill someone, they can't attack, they can't act anymore. I know that's really basic, but you want to remove them from the battlefield so that they get fewer actions. And um, it's better to do that than to like do minor damage to all three targets. We want to just try to eliminate someone ASAP. So like this will hit all three, but I'd probably rather take take one of them out. Uh, damage first marked. So bleed's not going to do anything, but this still feels like his highest damaging attack. Anyway, well that wasn't good. Um, I can actually party heal us because we did take some damage back there. Not going to do that much, but it's better than nothing. Light grenade. Wow, that did not do what I thought it would do. I don't know what... Oh, wow, okay, so Blight is like a damage over time. Ooh, that's a lot of stress. Yeah, they're targeting the Highwayman. I'll have to try to heal him. Alright, I think that kills that guy, right? Oh, he's almost dead. Okay, so the Blight is a pretty good damage over time debuff. Wow, that was kind of interesting. Kill the occultist. Oh, okay. You want to deal stress dealers ASAP? Okay. Well, I learned something. That person's already. That person's already um, blighted. So I think they're gonna die to blight on the next round. So I might as well just. Oh, I thought I could only use this on myself. I didn't even realize I could do that to other people. I thought I could only buff myself there. Okay. As the fiend falls, I will keep that in mind. A faint hope blossoms. All right, so we can... oh, I can't. Oh, that's right. I can't use that because we got knocked back. All right, I'll keep that in mind that you want to go after the stress dealers quickly. All right, and you get closer to the front because you have all melee attacks. Speed only determines turn order within round. Yeah, I would think I wouldn't figure that you could get two rounds. All right. Wow. The highwayman's kicking some butt here, and there's the blight damage over time. Okay. Hello's our torchlight. All right. Go back to the map. And I'm assume, presuming we want to make camp relative at some point. If you mouse over the blade icon, you can see how long it will last and how much damage it can do. Alright, so, alright, let's see, how do we want to do this? We'll do have to do this semicircle here. By the way, I hope my torchlight isn't burning while I'm just standing here. Doesn't look like it. Anyway, is this completely turn-based? I think so. So let's head to this direction first. Oh yeah, how do I switch these guys? You know, we might as well get back to our normal formation, right? No. Is this taking up time while I swap their positions? I presume it is. Maybe not. Alright, there we go. We 
souls. That contains loot. A key, anti-venom, and bust. Alright. Okay. Did we take them all? I assume we did. Did we take them? I don't see the bust. Oh, I think he took them for himself. The light's fading. The darker it gets, the harder things get, but the better the reward. Alright. Well, come on. What just happened? No! Ex application has been blocked from accessing graphics hardware. What the heck? Are you kidding me? What is wrong with this game? Ugh. So the game just froze. Now the game has crashed. Apparently. I hope I can pick up where I just was a second ago, because now the game is frozen. Like, I'm clicking, but nothing's happening. Like, it sounds like I'm in a battle, but I can't see anything, so I'm just going to close this and restart it. Boy, a lot of technical issues tonight. Man. <sighs> Be nice if I could go more than, like, 20 minutes without some kind of crash happening. I hope that that wasn't my computer deciding that this game was, like, a hardware threat. Come on. Alright, I mean, it loads right up immediately after, but... Wait, what the heck? Ruin has come to our family. You there we go. Our All right. Let's see what happens where I pick back up. All right. Let's see where it last auto saved. Rather long load times too for a pretty basic game, and I don't think that's just on my end. This isn't like the greatest computer ever, but it's not that bad. Come on. Yeah, so we were in a battle, apparently. Alright, so we've got a cultist brawler, cultist acolyte, okay. So we had a suggestion that we want to try to kill the cultist acolyte uh, before anything else. Because they do a lot of stress attacks. And then over time that causes the most issues. Okay, we got the bleed debuff. Alright, so he can't hit the guy. Alright, your hero's bleeding. You can use a bandage to stop the flow. Okay. What does the bleed do? It's, let's see, what does it say? 10% stress damage, two rounds. All right. I might bleed that and fix that in the next round. So I can't really hit the person in the back, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, yes I can, I can try to stun. No, I, no, I can't. I still can, I can only hit the front two rows, okay. In that case, let's try to hit that guy. Now, can I use her turn to bandage someone? I presume I could. I'll try that instead. That might have been interesting to test. Alright. Why did he not get a chance to go the first round? Alright, uh, anyway. Light grenade. So, alright. Ah, crud. Not quite enough. Let's use the grape shot blast. Press this advantage. Give them oh, no why did that person have to dodge? Yeah, see, I knew they'd have one HP, unfortunately. All right, well that wasn't too bad. I think we can live with that. So 
So this guy's dead, that blade lead out's going to kill it. Yeah, four damage per round for two more rounds. Ah, wow. That's unfortunate. Much last incision. Should let someone stress out the effects are really, really bad. I've heard that too. Okay, so let me bandage this guy now. Alright, so let's bandage this guy. Where's the bandages? There we go. Stop the bleeding. Okay. Contents are yours. Medicinal herbs. Okay, we can use that to eliminate combat people. So what does this do? Plus 10% stress damage. I don't know. So where are we right now? Oh. Are we in this room? I guess we're in that room. Alright, where are the torches? Okay, that makes sense. Abandoned quest. So... Like, where do I actually stop to set up camp? Like, is there a way to do that? I, my understanding is there's a way to do that because a lot of these people have abilities. Sponge. Select a hero and click to disarm. Alright, who... You probably would have the best chance to disarm. I'm assuming. Oh, hey, cool. Got some stress relief. Okay, she's at 63 stress. He's at 40 stress. You can only... Oh, you can only camp on medium and long. Okay. So, we're not on the type of mission that we can do that on. Gotcha. Oh, we gotta select a destination room. Okay. Still, I think we're in reasonably good shape. Oops. Probably should have disarmed that. Fortunately, it didn't matter, but that wasn't the best. Should have seen that coming. Alright. Let me. Oh, yeah. I probably should. Yeah, which doctor shouldn't really be in the front rows? Alright, so what do these guys do? Bone Soldier, Bone Soldier, Bone Arbalist. I'm assuming this guy in the back probably does the most damage. It doesn't say how much damage he does. These two are only 3 to 6. I'm assuming he does more. I think I'm going to buff the damage of Crusader. Give him extra speed so he moves. Instead of going last every round, maybe he should go a little bit sooner. Yeah, that guy's pretty frail. Alright. Boy, they do not like him, do they? Alright. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this Grape Shot Blast, but... Oh, I can actually use this Open Vein. Alright. So I'm just going to try to kill the two guys in the front first, I think. Oh, that's right, it doesn't hit the guy in the front row. Okay. In that case, let's just try to cut our way to the guys in the front. Alright. So, he's only single target damage, so... Um... How much damage am I doing? 8 to 14? This guy's only got 10 HP, so we can... Pr I'm gonna gamble I can kill him in one hit. Which I did. Is broken. Maintain the offensive. Alright, so that way we've only got one guy left to deal crumbles. with. Witch Doctor, um... Let's try to get Blight on this... Oh wait, no. Can only use that in the front two rows, okay. Actually, the, I, I don't think I can use this attack either. I could hit the bodies, but that's kind of silly. Let's buff my other characters then. Why not? Yeah, those buffs I can see, if you can stack them up, that could be pretty powerful. Let's see, 18, 17, 20, alright. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so... I can't reach that guy. Oh wait, I can... No, I can't reach him. We gotta kill one of the bodies. <laughs> As we heroically hit the body of the enemy. 
And now I can hit this guy. He'll resist bleeding because he's undead after all. Alright. 17. Alright. Let's heal everybody. It'd be nice if I got the two, but... I'll take it. Alright. Um... Oh, As hey, I'll take the crit. A faint hope blossoms. Yeah, I'm assuming that the bodies can, like, I think there's some monsters where the bodies can, like, come back to life, and then you have to, like, you have to finish off the bodies before they come back, that kind of thing. So we're here. All right, so we want to get to that curio, and then we'll come back. Just so we reveal everything on the map. Oh, okay. Well, it's, oh, hey, no, they're not. Take that. Now let's get back here. Walk backwards. No, it's not a route. But do they not like walking backwards? Apparently, I guess it makes them feel like we're running away. All right. Anyway, um, the light's low, so yeah. Let's just relight that. Head up here. They did not seem to like walking backwards. So let's just check in on the stress level real quick. 25, 50, 9, 66. Oh, and uh, you should swap. And yeah, you should swap there. Okay. Wait, oh, we need to go here. Corpses are a relatively new addition. Okay. Alright, we'll take some. Uh, so look, we've already got a full inventory. Where are we at? Alright. It's kind of annoying to have to click back and forth constantly between your inventory and the map. I will say that I wish the interface didn't do that. Oh, hey, they're hungry. So cool, we'll eat. That's why I brought the food. Oh, can I just eat to restore health? Okay. That's useful. Oh, wait, yeah, I can just eat to restore health. Wow, that makes the game a lot easier. Here I am, like, trying desperately to heal in battle, and I can just click to eat food and heal that way. That's it? Quest complete? Well, we didn't finish exploring the dungeon yet. There's still a whole other room. Then we'll leave as soon as we're done. Alright. I have a ring? Where did I get a ring? Oh. I did get a ring. Oh, okay. Plus 25 against beast. Alright, sure. I don't think there are any beasts in here, but we'll take it. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. So yeah, controls are a little weird. I do think they could have designed the interface so you didn't have to keep clicking back and forth between these. Oh cool, we got a surprise. Alright, so this is the last battle we'll have to do here. Let's see, we have Bone Defender. Got a bone soldier, bone courtier. That's kind of funny. We can't see the damage of the guys in the back, and that guy is like a sniper in the back. That makes sense. All right, let's try to kill this bone soldier. He looks pretty weak. Skills graveyard slash. All right. So who's first? Highwayman. So we'll just hit. This would hit the first three. That might not be such a bad thing, actually. No, actually, I think I'm gonna smack this guy. Um, this can probably kill this guy, so let's use that. Yep, we can just take the guy out immediately. Better to do that. Um, I'm trying to consider if I... I was thinking of buffing this guy and then having him shoot everybody on the next round, but he's already taken his turn, so I could buff... Um, my Crusader, so he gets the speed bonus and move faster, and then he gets the damage bonus on this particular round. So yeah, 8 to 15. If he rolled really high, he could kill this guy in one hit, but probably not. Yeah, didn't really expect so. Tempting Goblet. Okay. Oh, that's a... Uh, so he's got... Okay, I see. That guy has an attack that's a morale thing. Gotcha. 
kill the courtier first. Yep, you guys are right. All right, we'll see. I gotta learn the game. The stuff that, uh, yeah, wow, he's really going after their stress level, isn't he? Anyway. In that case, we'll shoot him. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of health, I can see. Alright, well, if that debuff hits him... Oh, hey, I didn't even realize that hits two people. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta check that. I didn't even realize the plague grenade hits two people at once. Or, let's see, where is it? Yeah, oh, yeah, it hits two rows in the back. Wow, I should have tossed that the first round. Alright, so I'll learn that. Yeah, so he has a high-stress attack, but that blight should kill him. Yeah, so he's dead. You don't have to bother with him. The blight will kill him when he moves next time. So we can focus on this guy. One HP. So because he's on one HP, I want to finish him off so he doesn't get to attack again. Lower stress Slowly, a little bit. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Yep, no, I mean, hey, I appreciate the advice, don't get me wrong. It's just I will have to learn, you know, learn some things as I go, obviously. You know, don't expect me to learn to know what to do right at the start. This is a nice, well-rounded party. Alright, so we could toss the Plague Grenade again, but the Plague Grenade doesn't really do that much damage. It's like the Blight effect is the big thing. Oh, okay, so these both just apply Blight. They don't really do that much damage. Probably do better to buff this guy. We can then shoot him. Um... I can't hit that guy, so let's kill the corpse so I can get to him next round. I do find that attacking the corpse is to be pretty funny. Alright, so now I get to go again, and he's got the damage buff, so he should kill that guy without too much trouble. I even got a little stress relief. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. Cool. They can be beaten. Hey, when the game uh is trapped. Alright, so how can I cure blight? There's gotta be something that cures that. Here we go. Anti-venom. Alright, so quest is complete. Let's go out of here. We opened up, uh, went through all the rooms.